coastal marshes and reach the mountains around Irazu. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. As I'm sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. Those CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. Houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can see what's inside. Blue doors. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. in a prison camp north of here. Basin will leave you completely exposed. If I were the enemy, I'd position snipers there. Better be careful.
Better be careful if you don't want your head blown off. Nothing here. That's right. A war photographer. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. Yeah, um, the birds of the battlefield. Whoa! Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used! You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. Those photos! Huh. Oh no, Amanda! She's safe. Don't worry. Are you sure? We're patching her up back in my place. She's hurt? I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. You got any cigarettes? Mm. Any cigar, huh? Hey! It's not for kids. Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. 
When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compas ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. The King of Snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bara at least. He was walking, on legs as big as trees. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel. But I only saw it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh... Well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Hmm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? <sighs> Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. He sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. They tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and... I tried to set it on fire. <laughs> Everyone treats me like a child. I, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Couldn't do it though, could you? <laughs> Chico, growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave the things you care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. But mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Mi viejo. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. Keep them safe. You want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. I can't go back. I can't face everybody. <laughs> you told them where your compas are. I see. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. <laughs> I wish I was dead. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? Shoot. You are only going to kill a man. I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? You're hombre nuevo. A new man. Now, give that new life to me. Huh? Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. <laughs> Dry your tears, then promise me one thing. 
No smoking until you get older. Remember, real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Uh, Snake is fine. What's that? Ah! Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it? Don't give me that. You say you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me. <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trap. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a... balloon. I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother, and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive. Because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. Uh, not just that. Because they're compas. All right. But first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that Basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs? You know, like ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Is that right? Okay, sure. If you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. Okay, Snake. The enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost. A rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake. Snake, weapons and items development is going nowhere fast. Send us some more soldiers with the Fulton. Boss, I had an idea. Listen to this. Let me guess. You want to start running ads in the local gossip rags. Please, what do you take me for? I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. They could probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. 